Above the skies of the Kenyan airspace, something strange was happening in Aivasha, 100 kilometers west of Nairobi. Two passenger planes appeared to have almost crashed into each other. The near collision in the Kenyan airspace, according to this radar system, would have been one of the world's worst aviation accidents. Involved in the incident was an Ethiopian Airlines Boeing 737-800 flight ET858, which entered the Kenyan airspace from Johannesburg, South Africa, on its way to Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. According to this commercial flight's radar website, the airliner left Joburg at 2100 hours. Its flight time was 5 hours, 12 minutes, cruising at an altitude of 37,000 feet. At the same time, at 1800 hours, an Italian leisure airliner, a Neos Boeing 767 flight number N0S252, had left the Italian city of Verona heading to Zanzibar. Its flight time was 8 hours. At 12.49 a.m. Kenyan time, the two aircrafts were in the Kenyan airspace at the same altitude of 37,000 feet. The Italian aircraft had entered Kenya through Ethiopia and the Ethiopian airline from Tanzanian airspace. They appeared to fly into each other before the Ethiopian aircraft took a swift climb from 37,000 feet to 38,000 in just one minute at exactly 12.50 a.m. The pilot appears to have maintained that altitude for at least five minutes. The Kenya Air Traffic Controllers Association seemed to blame the near crash incident on a strike by Ethiopian air traffic controllers. They say the Ethiopian counterparts failed to honor coordination procedures agreed between Nairobi and Addis Ababa on air traffic navigation and management. I don't think Alan will go. I'm saying